fire sign leo aries sagittarius what's up welcome to my channel am i tripping or not tarot my name is cock frost but you can call me the ghetto nun sorry for shaking the table that bitch is shaking the table <laughs> i'm here to do your general love reading for december 23rd through the 31st please keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with every single fire sign okay if it doesn't oh well just so you know, I start all of my cards out upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals. I also pre-shuffle just so I can get an idea of what's going on with your situation, fire sign. So let's get started. This is what I pulled. I pulled the Seven of Pentacles. I pulled the Hermit. Clarify with Community and Main Male. Okay. I pulled the Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands. Clarify with Poverty. And then you got the Three of Pentacles and Four of Swords. So I asked what this person was thinking about you, Fire Sign. Off top, you could be dealing with another Fire Sign like yourself, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I see Air Sign out here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Earth Sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo for sure, okay? So in regards to what this person is thinking about you, Fire Sign, I don't know if it's you or them because you know these energies flip and shit, right? But somebody in this situation is feeling like they're, they're done putting in work. Like, I'm done investing. I'm done putting in work. I want to see what, what the next motherfucker going to do as far as what you what you going to bring to the table, motherfucker. Because you just keep bringing elbows and knees to this motherfucker, right? So somebody's like, I ain't putting in shit else. I ain't fighting for this shit to move forward. This could be you, fire sign. I'm not fighting to move this shit forward. Like, I didn't already put in enough work. I'm, I'm done, basically. I'm going to chill, sit back, and see what this motherfucker want to do, right? Because every time I put in work to this shit... It leaves me feeling like this. This poverty is just feeling, to me, it's just like feeling empty. You know what I mean? Like, I put in all this work and shit. It's a little rat at the bottom and shit. Like, and motherfuckers just come and take from me. Take, 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 fire sign. This is how you feel. So you like, no more of that shit. I ain't going into 2019 when motherfuckers taking another damn thing from me, right? You want this person to invest and, and you want to see what the fuck they going to do, right? I'm going to see what the fuck you going to do. This is you or them, air, uh, fire sign, excuse me. You want to see what this main male is going to do. What, what steps are you going to take? This community card, I feel like, can go a couple ways. Either this person cares a lot about what other motherfuckers think about them and shit, or they, like, try to maintain an image for other people. Or this person is just out fucking around with other motherfuckers, like, period. Like, I don't, this three of pentacles is out here, so it could be a third-party situation. It's three motherfuckers in this card. So it's like... Either you or them fire sign is like, I'm going to watch to see what this motherfucker going to do. Because I'm not putting no more energy into a motherfucker that's putting energy into the fucking community, into other motherfuckers, right? Into other people, other situations. Like, it's making me tired. I'm not getting shit out of it, right? This is what this person's thinking. You or them fire sign. Somebody is done putting in work. It's time for the other person to show and prove. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's go on to see how this person sees you, uh, fire sign. How's this person see fire sign? That's what they thinking. Maybe they know already, fire sign, that you done putting in work. You know what I'm saying? How they see you, number one, they fucking <laughs> spying on your ass, right? But you may have cut off communication. Let's put another one out here in front of this page of swords. I want to look. Uh, one flipped over. Strength. So I feel like you're resistant talking to this person, which would make sense with this four of fucking swords. You cut off communication. That's how they see you, fire sign. You or them. Somebody's resistant speaking to the other person. Like whoever said I'm not putting in no energy, no more effort, they meant that shit. Like I'm not talking around you. I'm not calling. I'm not driving by your house. Don't fucking send me, put a like on my fucking social media accounts or none of that shit. This is you, fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This King of Wands came out. Like, you mean that shit. You have totally, you know, King of Wands is about action. So I'm not surprised that y'all were putting in a lot of work into this situation because that's what the fuck y'all do. Y'all go-getters and shit, right? But when you put halts on shit, like, I also know fire signs are serious. Like, just like I started that motherfucking fire, I will throw water on that bitch, right? This is you, fire sign. You threw water on that shit. Tss, that shit fizzled the fuck out, right? This is how they see you. Not making no moves. Kind of sitting back to see what the fuck they gonna do. Could be dealing with a Leo as well. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I still feel like this is all you though because this is how they see you. Resisting. You know what I mean? Resisting any type of communication, any type of immature communication at that. Page of Swords is like hella, 
Like, I'm not playing these motherfucking games with you, bitch. That's that's how they see you, Fireside, or you see them. But they see you as, like, checking the fuck out. Really? Like, check, please. Like, you're done. The food, the meal, everything is over. Like, let's go. Three of Wands. <laughs> it's a lot of wands out here, Fire Sign. So this is definitely you. I feel like they feel like you cut out. And like this three of wands, they say, is like waiting on ships to come in and all that. You're Like I said, you're done putting in work. I'm done waiting for this motherfucker. I'm done doing, I'm done expecting anything from this person. This is how they see you. Like you're done expecting anything. You have cut out communication, any expectation, anything like that, right? If anything, you're trying to look out for yourself and see what the future is for you. You know what I mean? It's like... It's almost like you like, you know, this, like I just said in whatever reading, I don't have a two seater car, motherfucker. I got a one seater car. Like fire sign is like, I'm picking me. I'm choosing myself, right? This is how this person sees you resisting them, choosing yourself and going after. It's like, I might as well fight for me. You know what I mean? With this, especially with this nine of wands here, this is you. This motherfucker ain't fighting for nobody but itself. That motherfucker in there by himself. Okay. So you're like, I'm going to fight for me. I'm going to fight for what I want, what I want to do. And I'm not putting no more, again, energy, effort, love, money, time, conversation, pinnacles, anything into this motherfucker no more. That's how they see you, fire sign. Moving on up to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky, high, high. That's how they see you. Like, I'm moving on up. I'm ascending. Let's see. One on the strength card. Four of Pentacles came out with this strength card. Like I said, they just see you resisting, holding on, reserving all your energy, efforts, and everything in regards to them. You know what I mean? You pull all the way back. All the way back, fire sign. Damn. Maybe this person could be out trying to get advice and shit, too. Because I'm starting to see a couple different scenarios. This hermit card, right? This person may be out trying to get advice in regards to you, fire sign, as to how do I make this shit work or how do I fix it with fire sign because fire sign used to communicate and talk and want to work shit out but now fire sign is like this and shit don't want to talk don't want to communicate they <laughs> they've turned their back on me you know what I mean they blocked my number all that shit like they're resisting any of my advances or any of my attempts to try to fix shit with them everything like you have pulled all the way the fuck back fire sign this person is that's how they see you they see you as pulling back. Let's put uh, one of these trail marchettis on this King of Wands real quick. What type of King of Wands are you right now, fire sign? Because you are very prevalent in this shit. And you're showing up in your reading as, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're coming up in this reading, like, a, for self, but not in, like, a selfish way. It's like, I choose me. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, put the oxygen mask on yourself before you put the oxygen mask on another motherfucker, right? When the plane is in fucking disarray and shit and shit, it's an emergency on a plane, you put the fucking oxygen mask on yourself before you put it on somebody else. Leo Aries Sagittarius fire sign here, this is you basically deciding to put the oxygen mask on yourself. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm not doing shit. Motherfucker, you're supposed to put the oxygen mask on the person after you put it on yourself, <laughs> Leo Aries Sagittarius, but it looked like you put the, the oxygen mask on and just looked at everybody else on the plane like, oh, well, motherfucker, I can breathe. <laughs> For real. Savage. Savage. Savage on them, fire sign. Courtship. This was a re or is or whatever the fuck, a relationship, right? But like I said, you put the halt on this shit. I just wanted to know what type of king of wands this was. So you do care about this person, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You want to put the oxygen mask on this motherfucker, but you like, motherfucker, you wouldn't put the oxygen mask on me, bitch. So I'm just going to put it on myself, right? And you figure out how to get that oxygen. That's, that's what all that damn smoke is. That's oxygen. You figure out how to get that shit on yourself. Because I'm tired of trying to put the oxygen mask on you and then I end up suffocating and shit and feeling like this because you don't, you wouldn't put the oxygen mask on for me. You know what I mean? So I'm going to just put it on for me and I'm only going to put it on for me. I'm not done helping people. This is how they see you, uh, fire sign. Like you only putting the oxygen mask on yourself. <laughs> I mean, hey, I don't know what this person did. Um, I don't really see a... Uh, I mean, it, it could be a third party because that three of pentacles, like I said, is out here in the community. So it could be this motherfucker could have been dipping around or whatever the fuck. And now they just 
they see that you like not with that shit. I mean, who the fuck would be? These fucking readings amaze me when I'm sitting here because I'm trying to figure it out. Like, well, why does this person feel like you need to do some more shit? Like, you the one that fucked up. Why should fire sign crawl back to you? Like, I don't get this shit, right? The nerve of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how they feel about you, uh, fire sign. Will of Fortune. Like I said, you putting the mask on your motherfucking self. I'm going for it for my motherfucking self. Excuse the cuss words, y'all, but that's just what I'm getting. That's that Sagittarius mouth that's coming out. Fire signs, period. Six of Wands, right? I'm doing things for myself. Like, King of Wands is out here. We got the Three of Wands, Six of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, okay? This is all about you, okay? They know that you're moving, Ascending, fire sign. Queen of Wands. Wow. So we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands out here, right? This courtship came out here to clarify this uh, King of Wands earlier. So naturally, those two would go together, right? This person feels like you're the one, fire sign. Or you feel like they're the one. Or you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's a lot of fire out here, right? This person feels like this relationship could be successful with you. Like y'all can get through whatever this is. But again, fire sign. They want you to, I, I see more wands out here than anything. So it kind of feels like they want you to kind of, like if you're dealing with an air sign, a Libra Aquarius Gemini, they're not talking at all. They're not saying shit, but they want you to say shit, right? They want you to, if you're dealing with an earth sign, they want to communicate but it's the same thing like the air sign. Everybody's holding on. Whoever the fuck you dealing with, ain't no water out here at all. I don't see no Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's either an earth sign or an air sign, fire sign. But they want you to do all the work. You're the passionate one. So it's like, it's almost like this person's like, I need to know what fire sign is feeling before I make a move. You know what I mean? Like this person doesn't want to be disappointed is what I'm feeling like they feel like if you come and tell them that you want to work this out then they'll be like oh, okay cool I want to work it out too you know what I mean it's like you you would have to make the first move fire sign strange little motherfucker right let's pull one on this wheel of fortune oh that's too many sorry y'all like three four five cards came out no one card on the wheel of fortune how this person feels about fire sign ten of cups like I said this person Wants this shit to work out. Here's the fucking water sign if there is one. I don't even feel like this is a water sign. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But the, how this person feels is like they want to move forward. Whatever happened, I don't know, uh, fire sign. I, I mean, it could be a third party, but I really don't feel like that. I just feel like maybe you put more into this relationship as far as like you always a motherfucker calling. You always, you know what I mean? Like maybe paying for dinner or, you know what I mean? You always putting out in this relationship more than that person puts in and you got tired of it i don't really see a third party it could be like i said this could be that situation but i don't feel like everything is always a third fucking party i feel like just like you you know how they say one person loves the other person more and that's how a relationship should be y'all ever heard that saying like one person should always love the other person more i kind of feel like this is either you or them fire sign realize that you were loving more on the other person you were putting in more than when you were getting you know what i mean like if i always gotta initiate motherfucker then this ain't no relationship you know what i mean like you need to put in the same effort that i put in basically let's put one on the six of wands because this person feels like you're the one the damn king of wands queen of wands came out ten of cups six of wands you know what i mean that's crazy. They want to move forward. They want to do whatever you want to do. Here's this cup again, queen of cups. So here comes all the love with how they feel, which makes sense, right? Because I asked what they were thinking and wands and pinnacles and swords came out. When I asked how they saw you, swords and wands came out. And when I asked how they feel, now the cups are coming out along with wands. So it's passion, right? They feel like this is like... I, it's just like what I said like you love them more Sagittarius or something or vice versa they love you more but somebody is putting in more love in this relationship than the other person and that's the person that has the ten of cups that's the person that can provide all the emotional stability together y'all bring passion and shit and y'all go-getters and shit but like it's no love you know what I mean it's like these are people that like open businesses and they travel and do shit but then when y'all alone y'all motherfuckers ain't got shit to talk about like y'all ain't got shit in common there's no emotional shit here only one person has that while the other person is just full of wands could be you or them Sagittarius I don't know 
but it's off balance. It's one person has too much passion, the other person has too much love. You know what I mean? And it needs to be balanced, basically. But this is how they feel about you. Maybe this person has all the love and you don't, Sagittarius. Maybe that's why you was able to just cut that shit off. Like, no motherfucker oxygen mask on me. <laughs> I don't feel all that fucking cup shit, motherfucker. I need air, <laughs> right? I need to breathe. Sun came out to clarify this king of wands. This is how they feel about you. This person wants you, <laughs> period, fire sign. They, they see a positive future with you. I mean, the ten of cups, six of wands, will of fortune, the sun. I mean, this is how they feel. This is like a... I don't know, fire sign, is it you that maybe needs to reach out or put in more? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, is it you that needs to put in more love and not just passion? Maybe is this a, a relationship that's all sexual and somebody's like, I'm tired of this shit just being all sexual. Like, motherfucker, what else is there? I could fuck anybody. Like, I'm a badass fire sign. I could get anybody I motherfucking want. So your puny ass wand or your vajayjay ain't really, you know, it was cool in the beginning, but like, what else, bitch? You know what I mean? What else is there? Is what I'm kind of getting from this. So somebody's pulling back on the whole sexual aspect of it to see if the other person is going to step up and be like, damn, you know, show that it is more than sex is what I'm getting. Somebody wants to see if this relationship is more than just sex, if there's any love involved. Because one person is giving love and sex and the other person is just giving sex. And so one person is like, I'm going to pull the sex back to see if this motherfucker got any love. Somebody does have love. But only one person right now. Maybe it just has to develop a uh, fire sign. You know how shit is when motherfuckers start fucking and having sex and shit. And then that shit gets so good that it becomes routine that that's just what it is. And usually emotions and feelings do. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes they don't come from that. Sometimes it's just pure, you know, jackrabbit fucking. And that's it. And nobody has anything else for it. So I don't know. Is it that situation? fire sign where it's like maybe you the one that just want to hit that shit and not looking for something serious and the other person is if that's the case that person is pulling back because they want to see what you're gonna bring to the table other than some dick i mean i'm gonna keep it 100 like or some pussy like that's it they want to know what else you got besides that are you worth anything besides that or are you just you know what i'm saying a fucking good time basically so somebody's waiting for somebody to show up and prove who they really are outside of the fucking bedroom like motherfucker who are you with your clothes on bitch who are you with your clothes on right i don't know this is what's going on between december 23rd and the 31st fire sign so i don't know y'all i guess you just have to wait and see what this person's gonna do but i think you're right for pulling back just to see and let this person show and prove you know what i mean don't give up too much of yourself for a motherfucker that's just you know what I mean? Therefore, a good time. You more than just a good fucking time in the sack, fire sign, or cross watcher, just so you know. You are worth more than that. So I think you are very correct in making this person prove that they see more value in you than just sex, period, okay? All right, um, so yeah, that's been your reading, December 23rd through the 31st. Like I said, this may or may not have resonated with every single fire sign. If it didn't, my bad. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Love you. Bye.